Okay, so thanks anyone for making the time for joining this uh, presentation today. Uh, during this session, I'm going to introduce you one of the applications we, we have implemented for one of our customers. Uh, the application makes use of text analytics and artificial intelligence to reduce the risk of GDPR uh, breaches. But before diving into that, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Filippo Sassi. I am a senior software engineer. I've been working in the, industry, in the industry for quite a few years by now in companies like IBM, uh, Concentrix, and obviously Virtual One, which I joined in 2014. Uh, in my career, I covered a number of different roles, uh, .NET web developer, Scrum Master, Tech Lead, since 2019 when I joined the Virtual One Innovation Labs, where I am now one of the leaders. Virtual One is an IT consultancy firm driving uh, customer success uh, through over 20 years of market leadership and innovation in IT services. Uh, Virtual One believes in modernizing, innovating, and accelerating our customers' business transformation. Our greatest strength is in balance in our efforts to keep growing in all the three sides of our strategic triangle. Uh, the first side is customer success. Uh, so making a real difference through long-term outcome-focused uh, relationships, uh, then empowered people, uh, selecting, empowering, and trusting people who are wired to deliver customer success. And the third side is strong organization, so a high-performing, financially strong organization of the highest uh, integrity. We believe that this is what makes uh, Virtual One different, and more importantly, our customers agree. On these uh, slides, some uh, stats about version one. Uh, the interesting thing, I suppose, is the quick growing rate on some of the uh, figures. And I'm not gonna lie to you, to create this deck, I reused some of the slides from a previous presentation uh, we ran in October 2020. Uh, this slide at the time show um, just over 1,300 employees. In just uh, uh, two quarters, uh, we're already reaching 1.5K. Uh, I think that more than any other number, this uh, demonstrates how Virtual One is growing while uh, committing to our core uh, values. Uh, DAFAM is the Irish Government Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine. Uh, DAFAM vision is to be an innovative and sustainable agri-food uh, sector operating to the highest uh, standards. Um, Dafan is one of the oldest uh, Version 1 customers, and Version 1 provides many teams dealing with the uh, different Dafan schemes, applications, and more. One of these uh, teams is the BPS team. BPS stands for a Basic Payment uh, Scheme. Uh, BPS is the largest payment scheme run by the department, and specifically, the scheme is responsible for issuing grant uh, funding to the value of 1.2 billion of euros to uh, 120,000 farmers in lines with the European Union regulation. Uh, the team handles application and payments uh, of farmer grants through the BPS application, which is, um, can be accessed through modern digital channels, which uh, makes the customer journey easier with fewer administrative overhead. In the uh, last couple of years, DAFAM has invested uh, heavily in the OpenShift container uh, platform. Uh, this choice was primarily justified by one of the uh, key strategic aims for the department uh, to provide a capability for fast, flexible application deployment and at the same time to be responsive to uh, changing and emerging needs over time. Uh, all of this while focusing on small uh, products that can be designed uh, quickly, iterated, and released um, often. In particular, uh, the OpenShift container platform uh, was a suitable choice for the project I'm shortly uh, going to introduce you, uh, because there was real concern about using public cloud services uh, to scan and analyze documents which might contain uh, personally sensitive information. The, this solution reaffirmed the uh, department belief that the uh, investment in the OpenShift platform would provide long-term strategic uh, gains. In uh, line with the uh, public service ICT strategy, DAFAM is focused on digital transformation, including both front-end and uh, back-office transformation to deliver services for uh, citizens, uh, businesses, and the government. 
from May 2018, the General Data Protection um, GDPR regulation came into effect, uh, requiring businesses to uh, protect the personal data and privacy of the European citizens for any transaction that occurs within the uh, uh, European member states. Um, in line with these requirements, with this regulation, one of the often priority for uh, transformation was to protect the personal data for not only the DAFAN customers, but also for the customers of the public service as a whole. And in particular, we consider the following uh, use case. Um, to, receive, to receive grant payments, uh, the farmers must upload various uh, documentation through the department website. Uh, these documents often contain personally sensitive information, which might not be uh, indicated by the user. Uh, there is a checkbox, a checkbox on the form, and that indicates that the document contains um, PSIs. Uh, if ticked, uh, just that certain le levels of the staff can access the document. However, very often uh, the end users don't indicate the option uh, correctly, and this leads to a situation whereby department staff read uh, documentation to which they should not have access. Um, another challenge occurs when uh, agents acting on behalf of the users sometimes upload their own documentation, and this uh, leads to approximately 60 major GDPR breaches uh, every year. Uh, so, whatever the source of the breach, both scenarios could lead to privacy violation and GDPR uh, breaches due to the staff accessing the document without uh, a sufficient uh, clearance. These uh, breaches uh, require significant effort to address and they are obviously taken very seriously by uh, DAFON. Uh, the department wanted to understand how technology could be applied to assist and to answer this question, uh, DAFAM uh, version 1 on site team contacted uh, the version 1 innovation uh, labs. The uh, labs um, is, are a value added service that version 1 provides to its customers uh, to explore disruptive uh, technologies. Uh, a couple of points to note here. So it's uh, version 1 customers, that means that whatever we do, we do it for the clients which are already within the um, version 1 customers uh, base. And for them, we are a value added service. So we are free of charge. That doesn't mean that we are free of cost. Uh, indeed, uh, we are expecting to use their data. Uh, we are expecting to use their resources. This will have particularly an impact on cost if we decided to go uh, cloud. We are expecting to interview their employees to better list their requirements. Uh, we are expecting them to test the POV. And uh, finally, we are expecting at least uh, one person from the uh, customer side to play the role of the product owner and to actively collaborate with us almost on a day-to-day -day basis to implement a proof of value. The proof of value is the same thing of a, of a proof of concept, basically a fully working prototype. We just apply the semantic switch to highlight that what we do actually bring values into the uh, customers' uh, businesses. Um, so far, we have implemented at least one POV in all the technological areas uh, shown on the slide, the only exception being the IoT. Some of those POVs were quite cool. I remember one of the first one I worked at when I joined the lab was uh, um, proof of value for a virtual uh, reality application using Oculus Gate headset. For the same uh, customer, we immediately implemented another POV, this time uh, using uh, augmented reality on an Android tablet just to show them the different experiences. Uh, both the POVs were very well accepted, uh, received by the customer. But we understood that uh, to push this forward, to move this into production, and to um, provide the client with the wow factor they were looking for, we simply didn't have the right capabilities within the company. That's because uh, these technologies are quite neat, and to, um, they require very advanced uh, um, graphical skills, especially 3D graphical skills, which are almost those required in the gaming uh, industry. Um, so from 2020, we decided instead to focus on those uh, technological domains where A, we got plenty of expertise within the company, and B, where we think that our uh, customers would have uh, benefited the most. And those domains are machine learning, artificial intelligence, and robotic process automation. The uh, innovation engagement process with DAFAM was exactly the same standard approach that any version one customer faces when engaging with the labs. The uh, process is the following. It's always start from ideation, 
So we are constantly uh, talking with our uh, customers to understand if they are facing uh, business problems which are not solvable by standard day-to-day -day technology. When we identify one of those problems, we start researching. So we look for uh, academical or industrial resources. Uh, we run uh, brainstorming and design thinking sessions until we found a technology that could help solving the problem at hand. And when we identify such, such a technology, we start experimenting with it. When we're happy enough, when we think we have found a potential solution, we formalize it into an innovation canvas. Uh, the canvas acts like a contract between us and the, and, the, and the customer, and the document contains information such as the problem we are trying to solve, uh, the, the proposed solution, the people who will make the, uh, the development team, uh, a timeline, and the metrics that will be used at the end of the project to uh, determine its uh, success. When all of this is agreed and the canvas is signed, we start with the actual implementation. Uh, we are following an agile, uh, iterative, and incremental methodology called uh, Scrum. We take up to six bi-weekly sprints uh, to implement the POV. We won't do six um, for the sake of it. If at the end of uh, a sprint, during the sprint review, the customer agrees that we have uh, uh, solved the problem under investigation, we consider we have proven the value of the technology. We got in touch with the rest of the version one delivery teams uh, to define a roadmap for moving the POV. Uh, live. So this is exactly the same process as DAF and follow uh, when engaging with us on this particular uh, use case. And the outcome, the outcome of the whole um, process is smart text. So using best of breed open source technology, smart text provide text analytic capabilities to extract meaningful insights from unstructured data. So documents, images, PDFs, etc. Uh, these insights are the features that are later used for artificial intelligence modeling to ultimately classify if the document contained or not personally sensitive information. Uh, obviously, this is just one of the many possible applications. Martex could, could be used by many other scenarios, and we will shortly see some examples. But for now, let me just uh, dive a little bit more into the uh, components of the solution. The first one is the OCR. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition, and this component uh, extracts the textual uh, content from the unstructured uh, documents. This uh, textual content is then utilized to derive useful metadata attributes from the uh, other smart text components, which are uh, sentiment analysis, uh, topic modeling, semantic word search, uh, regular expression extraction, and name entity uh, recognition. Each of these components is exposed as a separate API, ensuring loose uh, coupling and easy recombination. The APIs use cutting edge open source libraries, which are with appropriate customization for these and other use cases. As example of customization, we are currently retraining the open source machine learning model with specific set of documents for making the models uh, domain specific. The SmartX solution in DAFAM is deployed on-prem, but all the components are deployed as containers to ensure uh, portability of deployment across cloud uh, too. Um, from a deployment perspective, uh, we, we said it already, DAFAM made a um, significant investment in an on-prem OpenShift container platform. Uh, as a consequence, we wanted that SmartTex utilize the power of the platform to demonstrate its value. And that came out to be a great choice, as the OpenShift platform helped us solve some of the issues that we could have faced uh, otherwise. Uh, for instance, the SmartTex uh, solution was designed to take advantage of the Python uh, machine learning uh, libraries, but this architecture was not supported in the DAFAM infrastructure. Uh, the OpenShift platform allowed for secure deployment and build of Red Hat published containers, but would have been would have been impossible otherwise, given the available budget and time. Uh, likewise, uh, building our test uh, and production environments for the project would have normally been another large cost, but this was easy, easily overcome with OpenShift and image uh, streams.
The uh, solution is currently uh, live, acti actively mitigating GDPR risk for farmers and agents, flagging potential errors during the uh, documents upload. This has enabled the department to switch from a, a reactive to a proactive approach of identifying uh, data breaches and isolating them and preventing them from occurring. Uh, this obviously reduces the administrative overhead and the lost business hours of the employees having to resolve any potential breach. And obviously, this also reduces reputational damage to uh, DAFA. The project uh, demonstrates that the department led the way in using cutting edge open source technologies such as OpenShift and natural language processing uh, libraries. For, for what concerned in the labs, we were able to demonstrate our credibility in the areas of text analytics, uh, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Uh, the smart tech solution is now a key piece of our smart action suite that we are developing. Uh, we will shortly talk about the smart action suite. Here, I just would like to say that uh, since we have implemented the solution, we are having many conversations with our customers and smart tech story generated really interested. Um, we immediately understood that creating an ability to extract valuable insights and metadata from a structured document, being them forms, handwritten letters, images of documents, whatever would be hugely valuable behind the initial use case. Uh, for instance, for uh, one of our customers in the UK, we have been recently implementing a document summarization tool and the, the, the goal of the tool is to provide um, key pieces of information from uh, the end to the end users from a set of documents without the user having to read any of those documents. At the core of this solution, there is smart text. Uh, we have also recently demonstrated it to many other clients, uh, both in Ireland and in the, in the UK. All in all, we think that this project is an excellent demonstration of how open source technology could be uh, utilized and augmented to develop solutions which, which are comparable to the major cloud vendors. Uh, indeed, we, we uh, commissioned a report to compare smart tech solutions with similar technologies from Azure and AWS. And this report showed that the performance from the, of smart techs are very much comparable to those of Microsoft Computer Vision and Cognitive Services on one side and AWS TechStrat and Comprehend um, on the other. Uh, within DAFN, the smart tech solution was the first application deployed on the OpenShift uh, container platform, and as such, it ironed out all the usual technical challenges uh, we deploying onto a new platform. I was not directly involved in the um, original de um, development, so I won't spend too much time here on the technical challenges and the subsequent uh, learnings. Uh, however, talking with one of the main developers, I found particularly interesting that one of the weakest points of the original implementation was the central role of the orchestrator components uh, in, in the original architecture. Uh, because of the orchestrator, that architecture was uh, highly coupled, uh, working through a set of well-defined steps to be executed together. Uh, being so, the orchestrator needed to know everything about anything else, making it the single point of failure. That is, the orchestrator goes down, everything everything else goes down too. Uh, so we look, at, we look at more modern uh, architectural approaches. So at the end, we went for a reactive-based architecture, which make the components responsive to relevant changes in the data. Uh, the benefit of this architecture are many, mostly responsiveness, uh, resilience, and uh, elasticity. Uh, I previously mentioned the Smart Action Suite, so before concluding this presentation, just uh, please allow me to uh, quickly introduce it to you. Um, before we look at the standard innovation journey our customers are facing when engaging with the innovation uh, labs, the journey goes from ideation to the successful implementation of, the, of a POV. However, over time, we noticed that many of our customers were facing similar problems. So instead of reinventing the wheel all the time, uh, we have decided to start productizing over existing POVs and build what we call the Smart Action uh, Suite. This is a suite of components which could be used either, either in isolation or like Lego bricks could be combined together in different numbers and order to build many solutions which could apply to different use cases and scenarios. Some of the components like smart text and smart data capture have already been developed developed, the other will be implemented in the next uh, future. The overall idea here is to provide our clients with a hyper automation set of apps which empower their employees, allowing them to take a better and more efficient decision in a shorter time. 
In a nutshell, the key components are shown on the uh, slide. We already talked about smart text. I will just introduce another couple of them. One is smart FAQ, which is our uh, smart bot providing organization with always on 24 seven service answering FAQs to customer queries, smart data capture, an app to support enterprise data capture requirements, uh, smart search, a solution providing uh, intelligent document search where a user can search for queries in conversational language and the right tongues, uh, the right reference uh, from the documents will be returned. Uh, smart automation, the uh, best of breed automation tools to develop hyper automation, so with a combination of RPA and AI. And finally, Smart Process Advisor, which is designed, in, designed to guide staff through uh, organizational processes, advising them each step of the way. And that was all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you find it interesting. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question, you can answer it in the chat below.